Hi everyone, my name is Ario and today we're going to be talking about this funny interaction that happened on Twitter on David Fowler's account where he presented this syntax which is a little bit old but generated a lot of interactions. So without any further ado, I want to say that I have nothing against David Fowler. Uh, I just want to cover what happened here and hear what you have to say about this. So basically he presented this syntax on how to take the last X elements of a collection. Uh, to be honest, this is the first time that I see something like that. And it took me quite a while to understand what was going on, specifically because of this operator that is here next to a number. In my head, like some of the people say in on the thread, the use of the XOR operator here is quite confusing for the brain. And that's exactly what happened. I was reading this and I was wondering what, what, what was the effect of doing this here? Why are we applying a XOR to max details to try to get part of the collection into a range? So that was the first thing that I thought. And then I was like, why are we doing this this way if you only want to get the last part and someone else actually said why don't you just use take last david also proposed this translation and it shows and says that this is less efficient because there are optimizations in take using range blah 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 but we can see actually that the optimization or, or is less efficient because it's using two collections and it's enqueuing and dequeuing things and obviously this is going to be less efficient but why don't we just actually go and take a look at some code that i did i create the benchmark with the code that he put there basically this is exactly the same then the q example or translation that he did and then I added two more methods. Take last, which is basically someone that someone suggested to do this, and skip take. I think that this probably has a little bit of tweaking because if the the detail, the, the length of the collection is smaller, so there are a couple of things that we need to take a look at, but it's not something I'm too much worried about, and you will see why. So, the result of the benchmark is quite interesting. Range takes almost 20 microseconds. With queues, it's basically obviously crazy slower. But then, take last, take just a little bit more than range, but if you do a skip take, it's way more performant than using the range. And you can see that even locates way less. It's interesting to see that they both allocate the same, the range and the take last, and they almost take exactly the same. So this is a little bit suspicious, but interesting to see. I want to focus on this, the skip take, which is the I would say probably the second most readable code. I think that the most readable code is this, just like this. And the second one is this. It's just like, okay, I want to skip this amount and I just want to take that. And considering that this is even the most performance solution of the four, I see no reason to use range here. Absolutely not. And if everybody is actually wondering if this is generating the same results, you can see that I'm returning a list. And at the end of the program, I compare that all of them are the same. And there was no exception, the code finish. So basically, all of the different implementations return the same collection, but we can see that the skip and take is way better than that, that syntax. Now let's go back to the thread and see what people is actually saying about this. 
there is people that don't even know, like I did, like what does the XOR in front of my detail does, basically that range generation. Someone is saying like, why don't you just use take last? And you will see that the majority of people is actually complaining on the use of this syntax because it's not readable, because people don't understand what it's doing, which probably the last one you can just dismiss it because once you learn it, it's fine. But the cognitive uh, jump that needs to be done to understand that compared to an skip and take is way bigger. Someone here said exactly the same, like reusing the SOR operator is a mistake here. And it has quite a lot of support. So I guess just posting this or just using this for what reason, basically, uh, it doesn't actually add any value and actually is worse. And I think that David and Microsoft should take this thread and consider how much do they want to listen to the C-sharp community about this. Because go through this thread that I'm going to leave on the box and you will see that a lot of people is like in discontent with what it's doing. Like there's a cognitive burden. Uh, why are you just throwing this and not explaining? This is uncomprehensible. Someone even say that they left uh, away from the language because of this. Obviously that's an extreme. But yeah, I know the title of this video is going to be a stream. But I think that what really needs to happen here is that Microsoft needs to listen to people here, that the language has to provide readability and be efficient. If the new features that we have can actually be, you know, less readable and less efficient than other constructs that we already have, then it's not something that probably has to be part of the language, you know? So have you actually used this? What do you think? Is it readable? What would you say to David Fowler? If you don't have Twitter, leave the comments here and we will let him know. Thanks for watching.